In fact, the way that I met Cody was because of his leads business that he had three years ago. And I was the largest ad agency in Springfield. And Cody was one of my clients. And I said, hey, um, you know, what's this Facebook thing you're doing? He's like, well, I do leads and, and I, I do a lot of Facebook. And I was like, well, okay, so how much Facebook do you spend a month? He goes, oh, Gus calculator out. He's like, oh, I think about like 300 grand a month. I'm like, 300 grand a month? What the heck are you talking about, dude? You know, that, but that was when I realized to me that the digital sort of wave is, is here, it's here to stay. What I'm gonna do is give you five strategies that are working today in 2022 very specifically. Now, when I tell you these strategies, I'm not saying that you have to hire Secure Agent Marketing to execute these. I'm just gonna tell you five strategies that are working right now so that you can just understand where the big dogs are leaning into it, into the marketing game. Okay, our next speaker, okay, our next speaker, type leads if you're like, dude, I ain't want the Glen Gary leads. Cody, I don't want the poo-poo leads. I want the good leads, man. I want the good ones. Like somebody's been holding out on me, okay, but I want the good ones. Our next speaker is our resident marketing expert. He's my business partner and runs the daily operations of Secure Agent Marketing. This dude knows how to scale a company through advertising, marketing, branding, websites, and social media. Every company needs him in their corner, whether they realize it yet or not. He's become one of my good buddies as we, as we built a team of 50 that will exceed over $20 million in annual marketing revenue in 2022. The dude is an absolute freak when it comes to marketing knowledge. Author of his newest best-selling book, Find Your Marketer. Please help me welcome the 8% virtual stage, my buddy, my business partner, and the marketing genius of the industry, Mr. Landon McCarter. Let's go, give it up. I gotta jump just to get as high as him, let's go. So if any of you guys see me disappear at any moment, it's because I turned sideways to your camera, right? I'm like those blinds that you just like move and I'm like, where'd they go? So don't be alarmed, I didn't disappear, I'm still here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna give a quick little introduction um, just to kind of provide some context, my father was a teacher for 40 years. My uncles were teachers. My cousins are teachers. I love, I, I actually speak at Missouri State University. I hosted a digital marketing summit at Missouri State University with 300 marketing students because turns out the marketing degree at Missouri State has no idea how to do digital marketing because it changes every 14 minutes, right? So I'm able to lead and teach. So this talk Forgive me, I am not as exciting and rah-rah as others, but I'm trying to get very practical and very actionable with very specific strategies that are working right now because there's a lot of garbage out there that I want you guys to understand that is really isn't worth our time anymore as insurance um, producers to be able to, to, to sell, close leads, market, etc. What I want to explain is a concept that's happening right now. We are in a digital revolution. Now, in the insurance business, that does not mean that people don't still want to work with people. The only thing that's changed is the handshake. I want to be clear on that, okay? People still work with people. People will always be working with people because the insurance business is a people business, period. We're here to serve. So, you know, someone's not going to automate the insurance agent out of the sale of an insurance sale, in my opinion. There are people trying to do that, but wouldn't you know that the persistency of that business is also super low also. I have friends that have blown millions of dollars trying to create a digital funnel from top to bottom, get them enrolled in a Medicare policy, whatever it is, and wouldn't you know it falls off the books the second they sit down with a real agent that asks them about their needs, that understands their philosophical needs, that goes down there, and that business is the easiest thing to pluck away that you would ever know. So what I'm here to tell you is, is that if you don't lean into the digital handshake and the digital side of this game, you are gonna get left behind. That doesn't mean direct mail doesn't work, that doesn't mean seminars don't work, I love those two marketing methods. What percentage of all ad spend in the world was digital last year? The answer is 58%. When I got my degree in marketing in 2009, I graduated, 
Facebook wasn't even a paid platform and there was nobody that was using Google or Facebook or anything on a local level to generate leads in any sort of capacity. In fact, the way that I met Cody was because of his leads business that he had three years ago and I was the largest ad agency in Springfield and Cody was one of my clients and I said, hey, um, you know, what's this Facebook thing you're doing? He's like, well, I do leads and, and I, I do a lot of Facebook and I was like, well, okay, so how much Facebook do you spend a month? He goes, oh, Gus calculator out. He's like, oh, I think about like 300 grand a month. I'm like, 300 grand a month? What the heck are you talking about, dude? You know, that, but that was when I realized to me that the digital sort of wave is, is here, it's here to stay. What I'm gonna do is give you five strategies that are working today in 2022 very specifically. Now, when I tell you these strategies, I'm not saying that you have to hire Secure Agent Marketing to execute these. I'm just gonna tell you five strategies that are working right now so that you can just understand where the big dogs are leaning into it, into the marketing game. I wrote this book very, for one reason and one reason alone. You can get on Amazon um, if you just search Find Your Marketer. It's 14 bucks, I think. The reason I wrote this book is because I found very quickly, I think David Price said this actually, he took the words out of my mouth. If you wanna get to the next level, in insurance, you gotta have a good mentor, you gotta have a good understanding of what that next level looks like from the people side of things, and you also gotta have a marketer in your corner, or you gotta know what marketing is, or you gotta really understand that marketing angle. Anybody I work with in the top 1% of this industry either is their marketer, has their marketer, has found their marketer, has some type of agency that's crushing it for them. Your marketing and your leads, without that, you're unemployed. Okay, period. Now, you can do grassroots stuff. I'm not saying you can't do that, but if you ever want to scale outside of yourself, you got to understand this marketing game, right? First thing I want to explain on, on idea number one that's working, okay? You hear this term automation a lot, okay? I want to make it very simple. I'm going to say something that I'm, I want to explain some context. Facebook leads suck, okay? Facebook leads on their own are not a thing that you should be paying only for in 2022. Where Facebook leads are very successful is if you have that Facebook lead as an example or an internet lead as an example, dropping into a CRM that's trying to get them to respond very quickly with a series of text messages, emails, etc. So what you need to be doing is, is and I, we still sell a lot of Facebook leads, I always kind of cringe a little bit when someone says, no, I just want to buy some leads and see how you guys you know, do it. I'm just like, well, that's really not exactly the best way to start. That's kind of like the, the chef starting out with his you know, mac and cheese and, and not his you know, actual filet mignon steak. But what is working is when you take those internet leads and you drop those into a CRM with a series of automations, because who would be shocked to know that in order to get a 75% contact rate, which means even to talk to three out of the four leads, You've got to touch those guys 12 times in 72 hours at least. John Wetmore will tell you that you've got to triple dial through 25 leads three times in one day just to get a 75% contact rate, right? So if you're not dropping leads or internet leads into an automation platform, you're missing out on opportunity because that's just not how it's done anymore at the top. Anybody that I know that's consuming a lot of leads is taking leads, dropping into a CRM, and creating automations. Now, we have an automation platform. If you want to check it out, it's called Samson. Really, it's just go high level with our automations for final expense. The second thing I want to tell you about is what's called asset creation. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make in the insurance industry is that they put all of their marketing budget into leads and leads alone. You've got to understand that people work with the people that educate them, period. Okay, that is true from the beginning of time. It's going to continue to be true. Where do you think these individuals are educating themselves before they sit down with you? They're going online and looking at, at what the heck is going on and trying to get a feel for it. If I asked you agents to tell me who has been in this business more than eight or nine years, you, if you said, when I sit down with a new prospect, they're more educated now than they've ever been, you, and you and you got to understand that no matter what, when you sit down with a new client, that client is always going to be more educated than they were eight or nine years ago or whatever, and, and, and not even close. They're getting that education online. If you're the one that is able to educate with these individuals, you have first crack at that business. Also, if you want to do seminar marketing, that's fantastic. If you think these people aren't Googling you while they're sitting in your seminar, you're crazy. If you think they're not you know, checking you out before they decide um, that, that you're worth their time, then you're crazy. So you've got to understand that you've got to be able to develop assets that are built to educate. There's all kinds of ways to do that. I can't even get into that. That'd be a whole other hour topic for, uh, alone. But the idea is, is that educate first, give something away first, and then earn the opportunity to talk to them about business. Because if you come in right out the gate with a heavy sales pitch a lot of times, and there's another guy that's educated first, 
that educator is going to get first crack at that business. The way that you do that is you develop web assets, you develop eBooks. Do you think I care who buys my book? No offense, I love to make book sales, but do you think I care how many book sales? I don't even look at Amazon. On, I don't have a clue how much I've made or sold on this book. But every day, we get a call into Secure Agent Marketing Office that says, I want that. I'll do that. What's my budget? What does it need to be? I want to do that, right? Because they, they've ed been educated by me, and now they're potentially interested in, 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 in er learning what that potential next step could be. I would encourage you guys to write your own book as well. It's not that expensive anymore. That would be an asset that you would then develop. As an example, we do that for 10 grand. We'll get a book on Amazon in, in three months. So. The next thing I want to get into that's working um, extremely well is what are called preset appointments. It's exciting to, I can't get too far in, in, into the weeds of this because I, I can't allow everybody to take me up on this because I only have a set amount of actual appointments that I can set. But I noticed a lot of hands were raised whenever that individual sells annuities. We, we can set preset annuity appointments with a 100% show rate and guarantee an actual set amount of uh, annuity appointments that you'll get on a given day and a given month. What we do is, is we, we basically have a marketing strategy that takes SEO, content marketing, surprise, surprise, build it by educating, dropping them into a funnel, creating that automation like I just told you. And the thing that we do that's a lot different than others, which is why I can guarantee the appointment sits with you, is I try to tell them not to take the appointment and cancel on me if you aren't going to show up. We set this thing straight. If you aren't going to show up at 3 o'clock and talk about your retirement planning, then cancel the meeting or reschedule, period. Okay? Wouldn't you know that whenever you kind of do a takeaway and all that, you end up getting more actual opportunity, right? So that's why we have an 85% show rate on an annuity deal. We're doing these for 100 bucks a piece just to give you an understanding of how the, the costs end up lining out. And you're going to close 10 to 30% of those annuity appointments. You're going to have 85% show rate. And those that don't show will replace as well, right? But preset appointments are incredibly hot right now. It's just very difficult to find the right mix and all of that. But that's something that um, is working with, um, with the current market. The, the fourth thing is that if you have a goal of building a team, you have to have some sort of flow of recruiting, OK? So recruiting right now is actually easier than ever. I think one of the reasons is, is because there's so much Gary Vee social media stuff about how much opportunity you can get and don't be employed here and, and don't take a job. A, sa a salary is the quickest uh, bribe for your dreams and all this other stuff that isn't necessarily true for everyone, right? But still, that message is out there all the time. So like as an example, we have a recruiting funnel that's running right now that we, we have basically 1000 bucks, right? We were able to get 259 prospects through the funnel, and 42% of those individuals are actually booking a meeting um, with the actual recruiter. And then you're actually able to close however many you think you can close, depending on your comp schedule, depending on your offering, et cetera. But recruiting right now is not that difficult. But you got to do what I'm telling you to do, which is build assets to make sure that you're actually um, able to educate that agent on why they potentially want to be interested in what you're doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what that, that's what that looks like. So recruiting is a, is a big part right there. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time and the remainder of my time talking about how to do uh, live transfers and understanding live transfers, right? So what happens with live transfers is, is that typically in order to be a live, who, who wants to outbound dial leads, right? Nobody really wants to do that. Is that a true statement, right? We don't want to outbound dial leads. What we'd rather do is answer the, answer the phone. Cassidy, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and put up the link in, in the chat. March 1st, we are launching the first in the insurance industry virtual platform for an independent agent to be able to sit in a seat and take live transfers, whether it's Medicare, whether it's final expense, or whether it's auto inbounds. What that means is, is that you log into the platform, you sit in your seat, you put on your headset, and you say, I want to work on Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., and, when, and Friday, I don't want to work, and I don't want to work on the weekends. You set your availability. You can take one transfer. You can take 50 transfers, right? It doesn't really matter how much you take, how much you want to take, et cetera. You just sit there, and you answer the, answer the phone. Now, what ends up happening on that is, is we're in this digital age where you're able to scale very quickly. If I was to raise, if I had everyone raise their hands on who's selling over the phone, that selling over the phone is moving more and more and more and more towards the actual, um, what people are doing business in, in that way. The reason is, is because the way to generate digital leads is very, very easy. And the way to get licensed in multiple states as an insurance agent, you're able to basically cherry pick which states you want to get. So if you can have, like, let's just say multiple states, 
that you're being able to um, you know, sell and you want to basically sell virtually, the best way to do that is just to take inbound calls. Now, if you don't have the budget to do that, then you need to be able to lead develop, outbound dial, et cetera. But that is, you know, those live transfers are actually what is um, extremely successful right now as well. So if, 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 if I was to challenge anybody on what to do next and what that looks like and how you're actually able to implement um, you know, how to scale your business, is you gotta understand that there's sort of different pedigrees on what you're trying to accomplish, and there's different sort of goals that you're trying to meet depending on what stage in business that you're in, if that makes sense. So I don't think everybody on, that's watching this should be focused on buying transfers because transfers aren't necessarily, um, it, 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 they're not cheap, right? You're talking about 40 bucks for transfer to get your phone to ring. If that um, actual call lasts more than 120 seconds, then you're, you're billed 40 bucks. The cheaper way to do that is if you have more money than, or I'm sorry, more time than money, then you're able to take an actual aged database of leads and then outbound dial, right? So what I would challenge you guys is try and figure out, okay, what am I going to accomplish with my marketing budget in this year, all right? The first thing I want you guys to do is understand that a minimum marketing budget that you want to try and accomplish is, is probably at least $1,500 a month or so. Any like actual real producer that wants to grind out final expense or mortgage protection or um, you know these types of you know aggressive sales strategies are going to probably need more like 500 to 1,000 bucks a week to be successful on that, right? So what needs to happen is is you got to understand here's my marketing budget. Now take that marketing budget and and ask yourself a question: Do I need production right now with this budget? If I have a, a, a runway to say, look, I got five thousand dollars. I need to, this business to work. Jesse made an example of like, look, I got to try this out for six months and make sure it sticks. Then you really need to be putting all of your money and your budget into performance-based type marketing, whether it's leads, whether it's transfers, whether it's automations, whatever it ends up being, right? That's more important than um, building assets and writing a book and all that stuff isn't important for you. But if you're into a place where you're ready to scale and you're ready to basically say, okay, I want to build a business, I want to build a team, I want to understand what that looks like and how to go about that. The next thing you got to understand is, is that you got to allocate some of that lead budget into some type of content marketing. Every single person on this call found their way into Cody's funnel by, because they downloaded some script, they got on some email address list, they got on some type of ad they saw on Facebook, or some capacity, you came through Cody Askin's um, funnel, right? The reason that you're here now is because he created all this content on YouTube and has a bunch of Facebook stories and Instagram stories and all this content that's going off as well. And so what you're able to do is you're basically able to educate, 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 and then also if you have your budget over here for your paid leads, you got your lead flow that you're living on as well. So what can happen is you got your short-term actual lead budget that is all performance-based marketing. It all comes down to cost per acquisition. How much am I paying per lead how much I'm paying per appointment, how much am I paying per sale. Your cost per acquisition varies based on your different product types, but if you get only focused in on that particular lead flow that you're generating in the short term and you neglect the actual content marketing portion of it all, you're really not building a business, you're just running on a lead treadmill is how I would explain it. What that means is, is that you're only basically trying to consume as many leads as you can and try and get more premium than what you consumed and then hope you can do it again. So like other things like direct mail, all this other stuff, you know, you got a three week, you know, like timeline between your direct mail getting you leads back. Hopefully it even returns like you need it to return. And so if you decide, if you get sick or, or you have a dog die or whatever it is and it takes you out of the field for a week, then you're really like in trouble with that like lead flow. You can't keep up. It's very, you know, clunky. So what I would challenge you guys to do is build out a little bit more um, like assets of actual content marketing. Websites are easy um, to build your, your educational foundation on and then use your lead budget, whatever you think is best. Make sure you understand your cost per acquisition, but pick one of these five things and you will be successful as you start, start to scale. Um, just, you don't have to do Samson, which is our automation platform. You can do it with someone, uh, other people have automation platforms, but if you're still buying leads and taking it into a spreadsheet and then working that spreadsheet and then hoping that you sell as many of, the, of that spreadsheet and then going on to the next spreadsheet, like you're not able to optimize on what you're doing with your leads. You need a CRM or some type of lead portal to drop all of those leads into very specifically. And then you need to have some type of idea. One of our most successful marketing campaigns is we'll take aged DSNP leads, put them through an automation, and we'll get inbound calls from people that we talked to about DSNPs 12 months ago but didn't actually convert, if that makes sense. But if you've got 14 other 
spreadsheets with 52 different titles of the spreadsheet and they're all saved on your computer, you're not going to be able to be as successful as the individual that's dropping all those leads into their CRM and managing them accordingly. So once again, the five things that I would challenge you to do, internet leads with some type of automation. I'd, I'd challenge you to do some asset creation or content marketing. I challenge you to look into like some type of preset appointment so that you show up to that appointment, they're ready to talk about um, what you want to talk to them about. Um, definitely if you want to build a team, there's ways to uh, automate your recruiting as well. And then also take those live transfers if you want your phone to ring and just sit there and, and receive inbound calls, especially if you want to drive a call center. Just one little tip because I got two more minutes um, uh, of my talk. One of the most successful models that I'm seeing right now on just scaling and selling insurance premium and selling app counts, et cetera, is doing these little like what I would call like a micro call center, having five, six, seven, eight, 10, 15 people in a room. And what's happening is, is, is you're able to really scale very quickly. You can get licensed in multiple states. You can take inbound transfers. So let's just say you have eight people. Here's just a little tip for any of you that maybe has, have a small call center or thinking about getting in there. Get eight seats. The reason you want eight seats is because that's a concurrency rate that's like very successful. You can dump as many leads as you want into that eight seats. Have the top six earn their way, the top six producers earn their way to, to get the live transfers. Meaning like if you are in the top six of these eight, you don't have to pay, or I'm sorry, you're going to get inbound calls. If you're in the bottom two, you got to outbound dial leads. Right? And what you'll do is you'll see these people, you, what you'll do is you're blending your lead cost and you're also getting a aggressive competition to be able to sort of churn a lot of premium out, of, out the door as well. So I hope you guys were able to f find some value with this marketing thing. I really would challenge you guys to find one of those five things or all five of them if you have the budget to lean into. Go to our website too if you're interested in actually you know, taking action, we'll have a conversation. A lot of this stuff was broad. Um, Realistically, there needs to be a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your actual budget, so we'd love to have that opportunity to talk with you about your marketing in 2022. Thank you. Landon McCarter. Boom, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Landon McCarter, the marketing legend. Let's give him a virtual round of applause so we can see everybody clapping. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you, thank you. We've got 8% flags waving and everything. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Landon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Type Landon in chat if you're like, oh my gosh, that dude knows his stuff when it comes to leads and marketing. It's absolutely phenomenal and it's blowing up. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I want to get everybody's attention really quick before we dive into this because you you you've pulled off some incredible stuff. Like, what's a what's a number of how good this business has gotten? Well, at at our peak, we were selling about fourteen million in annual premium.